The suspect in a New Haven nightclub shooting that killed one, left several others injured, faces a judge. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Koontz. New Haven police have made an arrest in a nightclub shooting that left a young woman dead, five others injured. Now that suspect, 28-year-old Adrian Bennett, will face several charges that include murder and four, five counts of first-degree assault. News 8's Aaron Cox live outside of New Haven Superior Court right now where Bennett is about to be arraigned. Aaron. Good afternoon, Keith. We're still waiting for the suspect to face a judge, but you know, police held a press conference this morning, and while they didn't use the word dangerous, they say this suspect knew police were looking for him and he was a fugitive. For two weeks, detectives have been watching houses in all corners of Connecticut. They got their break in Hartford yesterday, taking him into custody. He is 28-year-old Adrian Bennett. He is now facing a serious murder charge, as well as five counts of first-degree assault. Now, last month, police say video surveillance actually shows this guy opening fire inside the crowded Key Club nightclub. Police say he had a target, but he shot others as well, including killing 26-year-old Erica Robinson from West Haven. Her family has a spokesperson who also is a sergeant with the NHPD. He spoke for them today, saying the family takes some comfort in this guy being in custody. Today we find comfort and relief that the person responsible for her tragic death has been arrested. People who commit such horrific acts of violence against innocent people in our society should be met with the full brunt of the law. We call on the state judicial system to aggressively prosecute this case. The family of Erica Robinson, her father, her mother, her sister, they were in tears. They were inconsolable and they just couldn't bring themselves to come to the microphone and speak to so many reporters who had gathered to hear more information about this case. Detectives telling us this morning, Keith, that they expect there could be more arrests in this case. However, they say when they ran into Adrian Bennett yesterday in that house in Hartford, he said absolutely nothing to them and just asked for his lawyer. Well, he needs his lawyer this afternoon as he faces a judge. We're live this afternoon in New Haven. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.